Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. This is a day in the life. Now, with a day in the life, I get to pretty much talk about anything I'd like to. Today, I want to talk about photography. Basically, the comparison between digital and analog photography. Remember when you used to have to go to the store and buy film, black and white or color film, and then put the film in your camera? Then you would take the requisite amount of pictures based on the amount of pictures on the film, take it out of your camera and bring it to a photo processing person, maybe a photo mat, maybe a drug store, uh, maybe a Walmart or, or some other store. And they would, you know, process your photos. And when I was little, in about a week, you'd have them back. And in modern days, it was, you'd have them back the same day because they had a big machine that would take care of it. And then came the digital camera. Very convenient. You don't have to buy film. You don't have to wait for processing. Uh, you can take the pictures you want. You can get rid of the pictures you don't want. And there's the problem. Deleting pictures willy-nilly. Oh, that's not exactly what I wanted, so I'm going to delete that and save the storage. Well, when you had film, no matter what you took, that was developed, that was put on paper, that was given to you, and you also had the negative. So if you didn't like the picture that you had, you could throw it away. But you still always had the negative. So if you needed for some reason to reprint it, you could take that negative to your photo processing person and they would reprint it and give you another copy of it. Now, we're finding that be people who are deleting photos that they don't like could be deleting history. Because, you know, when you had film, you didn't really get rid of the photo. You just got rid of the paper copy, but you still had the negative if you needed to reprint it, as I said. So one of the most famous pictures out of World War II wouldn't have existed, probably, if it was digitally taken, because it probably would have been deleted as a mistake. It's this one. Now, what you, I want you to do is think about when you're taking your digital photographs, which ones you want to keep and which ones you want to delete. Think about it. Don't just do it, you know, haphazardly. I mean, there's also many ways you can back up your photos. Put them on your computer's hard drive. Put them in a cloud. I mean, if you have a Google Plus account, you can automatically back up all the photos on your phone to Google Plus. They're private. They're not shared with anyone but they store them for you. So you have them on your phone, you can have them on your computer, you can have them in the cloud. And if you delete one on your phone, it doesn't delete it from the cloud unless you choose to del delete it. So let them store it. But you'll have access to your photos. Now, I understand if you have a blurry picture of your finger because you put your finger over the lens, you might want to delete those. I understand. But you never know what you're going to find in a picture. So keep them around a little longer. Maybe, you know, think about them for a week or so before you delete them. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV and a day in the life.